This is my Maxpedition pocket organizer maxed out. I've replaced the zipper wire pull ties with hollowed out gutted paracord glow in the dark bead S spiner to quickly remove my photon freedom which I've modified with a color filter. This is the covert model with a plastic around the nose. The filter comes off and can act as a color filter so that you can put different color filters at the tip. And it also acts as a button guard so that I can't accidentally press the button which is useful when you're using it as a zipper pull. This is an arrow wave uh, whistle. So I have whistle and light, both accessible even without opening the case. As you see, the case is totally maxed out. There is no air pockets at all. The thing is about three inches wide, roughly, at the thickest part. Let's take a look at what's inside. Not exactly your typical traditional bag, but let's let's start. This is a mini Bic lighter with red plastic electrical tape. Uh, can act as a red filter. This also can act as a white light diffuser for a flash or for a flashlight. I like the white mini Bic because you can see the fluid much more easily. This is a safety guard I've put on, which is just a nylon wire tie, so it won't accidentally turn on, but it comes off easily just like that. You have to pull it tight, and then it's locked. This is a tool I invented myself, or modified myself. It is a mini hacksaw. You tighten this, and I have various wrenches to tighten it really well, and then you have a nice hacksaw. But this handle, which is very thin, can hold other accessories, which I'll get to in a moment. Loosen this, and it slides in, and it's quite compact and very thin. This is a pair of vice grips, which has a magnet. This is where I store my magnet, used for making a compass or for making a uh, retriever stick out of this stiff wire to pick up something that's magnetic. I'll get to that in a moment. I really like these GV6 by Vice Grip, Irwin brand. Uh, they can get quite big. This is a MacGyver Universal Universal Multi-Tool, also called a paper clip, but it's one of the most useful little items. This, I don't think anyone would recognize. This you screw into a camera tripod, into a camera, into the base of a camera where the tripod would normally mount. You then put a string or a chain on it. You hold the camera up tight, step on the length of the chain, and you have a reverse monopod made out of a chain. Uh, but this is the ingredient you need besides the chain and the camera, of course. This is a ruler. It has clear tape and black electrical tape. This is a pocket wrench two ruler, uh, hex wrench, pry bar, screwdriver, uh, <clears throat> universal sort of opening wrench. This is a DeWalt wood and nail saw, which I bought because it also can go in here. And you can use this 
pocket wrench for tightening square bolt, square nuts, or hexagonal. And when you get this nice and tight, you've got a nice saw for cutting wood, plaster, anything, even wood with nails, as it says right there. This is a Stanley pry bar, which I had to cut down so that it would fit the length, and I have attached little vinyl tubes uh, because this can be rather sharp. These are just sh short sections of vinyl tubes that have been cut. This is a Leatherman Skeletool CX. I think it has about 17 different tools, including a flat bit screwdriver, which is one of my main screwdrivers of this whole kit, but I have a few. This is a Fisker's scissors. They are foldable scissors and they cut a lot of stuff really nice and sharp. They also can go on any keychain. This is an assortment of Leatherman flat bits. This is one of my screwdrivers. It is a uh, jeweler screwdriver. I think they call this a commando screwdriver. It holds various bits. I don't know, maybe about... There are five there, and then there's another five underneath, so there are ten different micro bits for very tiny applications like eyeglasses. And the holding end can also hold this, which is a... I have a protective cover on it, but it's a sewing all needle. And this will allow you to use this as a sewing awl for fabrics such as backpack material or leather or thick heavy materials. This over here is from a Countycom key screwdriver, but I like that when it fits into here a Leatherman bit extension. I can hold any normal bit, any Leatherman bit, with this adapter, any socket square head bit, such as this 10 millimeter one, which is common for my car, and I've got a nice little universal screwdriver. That's part of the universal screwdriver. Here's some more of it. This is a Victorinox wrench from a kit. Uh, it's a nice right angle, so you have a lot of torque if you need it. This is it's a uh, Torx security bit, which is good for dismantling things that have security bits. On the other end, we have a micro bit adapter, which can go in here so that you can then use micro bits. However, it also fits in the universal... Whoops in the universal bit, uh, bit extender from Leatherman. So I can use with this little device almost any kind of screw bit, micro, flat, full size, square socket, and it's all thanks to this little adapter and the Leatherman bit extender. This is paracord in fast tie configuration. This is a battery holder for holding a AAA battery, but inside it then becomes a full-size AA battery. Uh, but I'm primarily a AAA battery guy for my main flashlight, which is a 4.7's Revo. Dim, brighter, brightest. Uh, this can really fill the room quite nicely. Uh, and it also has some hidden safety modes. This is my handmade mini box cutter from a keychain tag. Uh, you go like this, and you dispense the blade, which is actually just a razor blade. Here's a backup for it. 
back up a flat razor and just hit it against a flat surface to put it back in. It looks just like a keychain. It's called Mac as in Mac the knife, but you just push it open. Depending on how thick you make it, you can make it open much easier, but I have several layers of tape so it holds on really stiff. You have to really push it down to get it back in there, but that way it won't fall out. P38 can opener that I've held down with a little metal wire. These are nylon wire ties held together with a little baby piece of tape. Four of them cut down. My first tape section. This is duct tape that's camouflage. This, this is a fluorescent tape, duct tape for ease of visibility and trail marking. This is a Sharpie, which is full size or mini tip. This is my main pen, which is a space pen. Uh, it becomes full size when you open it. Fisher Space Pen model stowaway. This is a full length straw. However, inside it, there's also a chopstick, chopstick number one. And the right angle lets you hold it in this nice small kit. So you have uh, a full length straw thanks to the bendy tip. This is the secondary chopstick, which is also a form for rolling this aluminum tin foil. So this is a roll of tin foil that I've used a chop, cut down chopstick as a form, and I think you've got about a square foot of tin foil in there. This is a uh, twist tie, just a black plastic tie, can also be used as a conductive wire. Here's another chopstick. It also has on it uh, heat shrink tubing. And what's in here? A little toothpick. This is a CVS hand sanitizer tube, but it's not filled with hand sanitizer. It's filled with alcohol, which is good for wound. Uh, disinfecting, uh, fire starting fluid, uh, sterilizing knives for minor surgery, uh, alcohol. It's just an alcohol dispenser. This is my main tape, Gorilla Tape. Uh, I've got a few feet of that. You count the number of uh, layers and that tells you how many feet are left because it's six inches long. Uh, which fits nicely in these cases. Uh, by making it six inches long, each layer represents a foot so you know exactly how much you've left. This is just a piece of Velcro to hold in my little uh, aluminum tube. It comes out so you have a piece of Velcro for wrapping around wires or anything else. Inside here, in the aluminum case, we have a single tic-tac. Uh, we have a single use of super glue. And this is a card reader. Inside it is a micro card of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got 32 gigabytes, which holds a lot of memory. In this center land area, I have needle, pin, and two large safety pins. This is a metal wire. Have you ever needed a coat hanger to get at something? Well, that's what this is, a coat hanger wire, but it's insulated and it's made from Romex. It goes all the way around and then it loops a couple of times, it's maybe about three feet long total. Didn't end up using the uh, Maxpedition little thing, I just snapped it off. You can click it back on if you want it. It is removable if people don't know that. These are my fluids, gel.